What's going on, my fitted collectors? It's, it's just fitted, man. We're back with another video, man. I just want to start off by saying thank you for the support, thank you for the love that you guys have shown me recently. My past videos, I really appreciate it. But man, I got a few mail calls, so we're just gonna go through that real quick. Obviously, you can see on the Mata, this is from Hat Dreams. This is the best day ever, Mac Miller by Hat Dreams, Manny, TCB Johnny. This hat is fire, I really appreciate it. Huge Mac Miller fan, so this had to get added to the collection. And of course, like eventually, I may have a Mac Miller coming out myself soon, who knows? But man, really appreciate this hat. This hat is absolutely fire. And of course, of course, we had to get this one. The Larry June by my guy Fitted Algebra and So Fresh Clothing. Yo, this hat, this hat, this matches the hook perfectly. His latest album, Larry June's latest album, this hat, man. If you follow my Instagram, you know how big of a Larry June fan I am. So I had to, the Batterman is crazy. The Batterman is absolutely crazy on this. So I had to get this hat on. Very clean Larry June, white guts, green. I wish it was black guts, but still fire hat. By all means, fire hat. All right, man, I'm gonna get straight into the video. All right, so as you guys can see by the title, what drop do you guys think was the biggest drop of the year? Me personally, and, and I speak on this, no bias whatsoever. I believe that Bones Brims had two of the biggest drops this whole year in the fitted community. Hear me out. He dropped first, Capanova LA. You saw the amount of people that came out there. If you saw the video, if you haven't, go to Capanova LA's page, go to Bones page. I'm sure there's a video there. And granted, I did the photo shoot for that drop. Let's just be very clear. I did the photo shoot for that drop. But regardless to say, if you seen that video and seen the amount of people that came out there to support Bones, my, mind you, he's in New Jersey. So Big Jersey was out there in LA. So that drop was huge for one person to bring that many people out. That drop was huge. He had, I don't know how many hats he had, but he had a bunch of hats. Obviously you'll see the, obviously you'll see the pictures, but man, that drop was huge. Like there was a lot of people that came out to support. I felt like that was a crazy event. And of course, we can't forget about Bones Day. We can't forget about, we can't forget about Bones Day. Bones Day and my fitness is huge. You see my video, if you haven't seen my Bones Day video from my fitness, the link is in the description below. But Bones Day was huge. Like, this twins? This twins? You know? Like, I feel like when it came to Bones Day, that brought out so many different people in the community that usually stick to only buying certain teams or usually stick to certain stores. I feel like that day in the community was great too and had a huge impact because hey, for one person to bring out everybody from different parts of the world to there, because there are people from LA there, obviously people from New York, people from Connecticut, people from Boston. There was a whole bunch of different variety of people at that drop. And there was at least, I think like 500 tickets that was uh, handed out that day. It was a lot of people at that drop. That drop caused a lot of panic. And to be honest, I feel like that drop kind of changed the trajectory of the fitted community. I feel like that gave some inspiration as to like, man, like if Bones could do that, you know, I can do that. And all, you know what I'm saying? Like that was some inspiring stuff. Like that day was a lot of fun. I'm telling you, if you haven't seen that video, you gotta check out that video. That day was a ton of fun. You had to move very tactical in order to get the hat that you want. I myself had to move very tactical in order to get this twins and I got it. So, but but I say that so because like, there wasn't a lot of drops that brought out a ton of people from different sides of the community. Now, what do I mean by different sides of the community? Like, again, there's people that only, you know, uh, 
get hats from hat club. There's people that only get hats out of uh, a, a, a lot of other different stores, pro image and et cetera, you know? But I feel like you, oftentimes these days, you don't see everyone come out for one specific person. Now I understand like, you know, a, a lot of groups of people, you know, did, did a collaboration pack, dropped hats and stuff, people came out. But I feel like Bones Day in Capanova, LA was two of the biggest drops of the year. And like, I feel like it's not being talked about enough because it's the truth. I'm, I'm team no bias. And of course, if you don't agree, please let me know. Please, like, please let me know on why you don't agree. And like, just give me a full description. But I feel like for one person to do that, that's incredible. That's incredible. Because granted, like, of course you have a lot of other creators have come out with drops this year. Of course, you know, I'm not knocking anybody else that has come out with any kind of hat. But I'm just saying, like, if you really want to look at it for one person to bring out a lot of different people into the community and for the community to all come together despite differences, despite beef and all the other kind of stuff. For the, for the community to come, all come out from one specific person, Bones did that. Like that's, I feel like that's something to flex about a little bit. You know, I think that's dope. Like, like I would, if, if that was me, like, shout, hey, shout out to my boy Bones, man. Shout out to my boy Bones. Like this, you know, this, there was this twins and there was a, uh, there was a, uh, what was it, a Cincinnati or something like that. Um, but yeah, like there was a few hats there was a Mets, like there was a few hats that dropped that day. And yeah, man, that, that day was a movie. I feel like we need more days like that. You know, uh, that's what I wanted to express also. I feel like we need more days like that in the community that brings everybody involved. You know, I think that will make, that's A, what makes the community grow and B, see this motivation to like, connect with more people, get to know more people, spread your wings a little bit, not staying in that same small circle that you always stayed in when it comes to being in the community. I feel like being in the community means you have to get to know everybody. See, I feel like it's cool to know everybody, but of course it's cool to stay in your circle as well, you know, because not, not everybody is in the community for the right reasons, you know what I'm saying? So, but um, yeah, I definitely think Bones Day, June 10th, that was 100%, probably one of the biggest days of the year in the Fitty community. I was definitely talking to the analytics team about that. And uh, yeah, we all agreed that Bones Day was definitely one of the biggest days and Capano LA was definitely one of the biggest days in the hack community this day, I mean, this year. And it's just not talked about enough, man. I hope 2024 brings out a lot more people uh, to drops and to have special events. And, you know, I feel like it's important to have those really big special events because to show people in the community, like, yo, you're appreciated. Uh, the creators, you're appreciated, all this. So I think that's dope, man. But hey, Bones did his thing this year. And I feel like that needs to be talked about more because I feel like a lot of people are staying quiet about certain things. And it's, it's cool to just be honest. You know, gotta be honest. Say, so, hey, it's been it's just fitness. This is me keeping it real. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.